Hi, I'm Stefan and I'll show you what's new in Liquid Notes version 152. We've added some great new features in this update. There is now a piano roll, MIDI clock sync and tempo adjustment for your song. By now Liquid Notes looks almost like a sequencer, doesn't it? Uh, so let's take a look at the piano roll. First let's open a MIDI file, as usual. Let's take this one right from the desktop and then go through the usual procedure of the harmonic analysis. Now the song is showing on the workspace. You may have noticed the tab switch on top of the track view. There is a tab for the track view, as we know it, uh, which is now active. And there is now also a tab labeled Piano Roll. Click on that and there you go. Here is the Piano Roll for your MIDI arrangement. We've chosen to display an overlay of all instrumental tracks, um, as we believe this makes for a better experience of the Piano Roll when it comes to harmony, so you see all at once. The sequence of your song shown in the piano roll is what you have selected via the zoom bar at the bottom of the Liquid Notes window or in the track view. All notes you see are an exact representation of the data contained in your MIDI file. No changes have been applied by Liquid Notes. The harmonic analysis of Liquid Notes uses these notes to identify all the possible harmonic progressions in your arrangement. And when you get into reharmonization, these events will uh, change. So on the right end of the piano roll, you'll find the zoom bar, which you can drag at the ends to zoom in or zoom out, or drag up and down like this to move position. Now on top of that zoom bar, you'll find the piano roll settings button, the little one. Click on it to change any of the default colors Liquid Notes automatically assigns to instruments. Or disable displaying of some instruments altogether by unchecking the boxes for the respective instruments, like this here. You see the immediate changes. And also the color of the instruments can easily be edited like this. You just click on the color and then you have uh, color pick picking options. Okay. So here's a tip. If you'd like to get a better view of your arrangement, make the Liquid Notes window larger, the entire window. Uh, it allows you to increase the surface area for the piano roll. You may drag this little strap here in the middle uh, down to enlarge the area of the piano roll, just as I'm doing it on my screen now. See? All right. Now, Let's take a look at the MIDI clock synchronization feature. This feature makes sure that recording and playback runs in sync between Liquid Notes and the sequencer or notation software. Now open the general settings window from the settings menu here and make sure that listen to MIDI clock in Liquid Notes is enabled and check that in your sequencer the sync switch is active and that MIDI clock data will be sent by the sequencer. And that's all. Hit play on the sequencer and Liquid Notes will follow with cursor position and movement. All right. Feature number three. You can now also adjust the tempo of your song. Adjusting the playback tempo in Liquid Notes is very simple. Click into the BPM box and enter the preferred tempo in beats per minute. And then just hit enter and play and your tunes will play in your desired tempo. So these are the new features in version 152. Should you require any assistance, get in touch with our customer support, of course. And thanks for watching.